Joseph on Broadway. Yeah, that was big. Uh, you were nominated for a Tony. Did you win the Tony? I didn't win, but it's been a long time, so people kind of forget it doesn't matter anymore. I thought you won. It's the nomination that truly matters. Exactly. And your voice. You're Thanks. so great. Oh, thank you. Now tell everyone the story behind this CD, Songs oh. of Hope and Inspiration from Broadway. This is, um, it's called No One Is Alone, and I, I um, what, what's, what, the inspiration behind it had to do with the fact that I had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 1989, and I wasn't able, I had been in Broadway shows, show after show for years, and well, it called, you know, it just, everything came to a grinding halt, and I was still able to sing, but I was getting chemotherapy and I wasn't able to do those eight shows a week. And it was, I had to make a lot of adjustments. Sure. And, you know, this is, this is, you know, four records later, I think I finally actually said what I've been trying to say. You know, I've been living with cancer for eight years. So, you know, I'm, it's, it's managed, but, uh, you know, it's hard work, hard sure. work to stay well. And how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? I feel good. I just finished uh, six weeks uh, as Fontaine and Les Mis with Andrea McArdle and... I dreamed a dream in time gone by. <laughs> yeah, I love that show! Yeah, you, you know who I want to be, Laura? Who you want to be? Master of the House is the oh, one You would be spirit. fabulous. I could maybe do that. You could do it. Ma Madame Tenardier. That would be Yo, the yes, role. you would be more. Going back into Cats, too? I'm going to go back into Cats on uh, uh, the 16th of May. Uh, Cats is going to break the chorus line record for the longest-running musical. <laughs> I really do. I think it's a great show. You know, I have uh, nephews and a niece who was just born, and I was in the show for a long time, and each nephew, as my nephews reached four years old, got to see the show. Well, I had this one little nephew, Evan, who came after I left the show, so now he's four, and he'll get to he'll see get you do it as well. It. And how about this, singing for the Prez? Not too shabby, huh? What was that like? There you go. Uh, and he... <laughs> At the inaugural gala, what was that like? Oh, was it, it was overwhelming for it you? It was thrilling. I wanted to run to him. It's the president. Yeah. And I, they just said, wait, don't do anything. Just wait. And uh, he came up and he hugged me. He didn't take the mic right away. He hugged me. And, he, and everybody said, what did he say to you? And he whispered in my ear, I am so proud of you for so many reasons. Isn't that sweet? Unbelievable. Also, I'll never forget it as he's, long as He's I very captivating in person, isn't he? He's handsome. He's handsome. And tall and, and slimmer than you'd think, and his nose is real nice up yeah. in, in person. A nice nose. And but I'm going to tell you, though, for all of this, when I, when I told my friends and my family I was going to be on Rosie O'Donnell, they said, oh, you were for the president, and that was great. So when are you on Rosie? Uh, said, well, sure. all of the Lori fans, and I am one of them, uh, it's a pleasure to have oh. you on. I've seen you so many times, and I will go see you in Cats, because I, I love that show. Lori Beachman, No One Is Alone, by the CD. We'll be right back with Richard Kind after this.